Okay, today we are going to demonstrate how to run cable above the ceiling tile properly. And you're going to need some tools. You're going to need your cables. These are considered a five wire. That's 22-4 shielded. And then CAT6, that's category CAT6 cable shielded. You can use that for video transmitting over CAT6. This is for like control and audio. Uh, then you're gonna need glow rod to attach that to, to extend over above the ceiling tile. And then you're gonna need tape to tie the wire, to tape the wire to the glow rod. You're also gonna need J hooks, J hooks with the retainer pin. Okay, the way uh, <clears throat> they attach like that when they're finished, you pull to take the pins the retaining pin out of the holes. There's a retaining hole. In case you ever want to add more wires, you just remove it and then close it back up when you're done. Label maker to label the box of wires, what they need to, what they are, and then snips for cutting the wire. You also need ladder, of course, to get above the ceiling, and then your cleanup is vacuum cleaner. First, we're gonna start labeling the cables. So you want to label the cable at least two arm lengths and I can explain that later on as when we get done running the cable so that when you tape it and then all you got to do is cut it instead of unrolling your tape to save you some time. Print the label twice. You're just going to peel part of it and just attach it to the box and look for where there's a tape but in this case there's not so that way when you're done running the cable you have to separate the two wires so you can identify what wires are what okay now that you've labeled the wires you're going to attach to the glow rod That's your buddy tag right there. So when you take the roll of tape off, give it a twist so that for the next guy to take it off, instead of having to peel it, try to find the end, it'll uh, make it come off easier. Okay, though, so we start out with the line drawing once we figure out, so we can figure out where all the wires are gonna go. Basically what we do is we circle all our external wires. That gives us a reference as to which wires have been cabled and once we're done running it, we check it off at, at each home run. Okay, before we get started, we want to make sure that we clear the rooms of the path that we're going to be running cables from using the ladders. And then if you want to cover any of the furniture, it'd be a good idea to do it now with drop cloth, just in case anything happens to drop on the table. Okay, today we need to establish our path of wire run. We have to take the ceiling tiles out every four feet to get our cable path. Okay, now that you've established your path where the wire run is going to go, we're just going to keep handing this off over to your helper. Okay, this is where the J hook comes into play. You're gonna to wanna to attach that on the ceiling grid wire that supports the ceiling tiles. And you're gonna attach these every four feet. Put the retaining clip back on, and you're gonna do that. Your partner's gonna be doing the same thing on that end. Keep in mind when you're running the cables, you want to follow the, bu the building perimeter line. You want to go north, south, east, west. 
when you go make a turn, you're gonna do a 90. We're gonna continue running the cable, and don't forget, every four feet, you must put a J-hook on. Okay, we're at a point where we have to make a turn. So remember, we have to do a 90 when we get to the point where you want to turn. So east, west, north, south is our path of run. So we want to make a 90 turn from the point A to point B. Okay, now this is the point where we had to make that 90. And then we're just going to continue going on until we get to our destination point. Okay, now that we've established running our cable where it needs to go, we need to go ahead and cut it at the box. You just need to make sure you pull enough wire out of the box so that we can drop it down the wall. This is where the label, the second label comes in handy so that you can identify what wire is what. <clears throat> Okay, after you ran your cables, don't forget to go to your line drawing, check off the circle. That way, if you have more wires to run, you can keep track of how many cables that you have to still run. Okay, now that we've ran all our cables, all we've got to do now is put the ceiling tiles back up and then clean up better than we, we found it when we first got here. All right, this concludes our video on how to pull cable above the ceiling. To see how to terminate our solder cables once they are pulled, please see our other videos. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Good job, team.